Alex, I'm so sorry, but Miss Maddie called from Grand Mare Isabella and she said she can't possibly go to sleep until she speaks to you. Okay, I'll take it in the study. Oh, Maddie is quite willful, but adorable. Rather like our Alexandra, no? Yes, it's me. No, things are not going well. Well, because Edmund has such a strong hold on Alexandra. Good. Well, look, we'll do everything as planned. We'll take her as soon as possible. Salam. You all right? Yeah. Why? You didn't look so well. I know it's hard talking to Dimitri, isn't it? In the mausoleum. I know you talk to him when you go there. You want to tell me about it? You know, I love you very much, Edmund. Hello, Edmund. Would you like to join us for a drink? Uh, I don't know, Mom, right now. Well, why don't we go out onto the patio? It's a lovely night. Um, you two just start without me, and I'll join you in a while. I need a minute alone. Is that all right, Edmund? Of course. Did I interrupt something important? No. You care about her just like I do. As long as I draw breath, Alex will be safe. I know you had some mother and daughter plans, but now's not a really good time for us to be apart. I understand how you feel. A new relationship takes time. I'm very glad that my daughter has someone who dotes on her so well. Oh, by the way, I hope the children leaving so abruptly wasn't on my account. Excuse me? Well, Sam and Maddie left so quickly to go to Isabella's house. Oh, well, they frequently spend time at their grandmother's. Oh, I was hoping that you weren't keeping away from the mad, eccentric Englishwoman. They'll grow to love you, Charlotte. Just like I have. Yes. Oh, I loved you so much. I was certain that when I lost you, I'd never feel anything again. And now Edmund. He makes me happier than I ever thought I could be. He wanted us to look after each other. Well, we really are doing that. He was your final gift to me. Your most unselfish. Thank you for showing me what love is. Thank you for giving me Edmund. You've given me so much, Dimitri. Your love. And now, a future with Edmund. My mother doesn't think I ever got over you. And that my feelings for Edmund aren't real. Well, she's right about one thing. I'll always love you. You'll always be part of who I've become.
My love for Edmund is real. by her mother that the woman she calls mom is ready to sacrifice her at any moment for her safety and yours she can't know so what are you saying we tell her she tells charlotte then we're all in danger as long as charlotte is a threat i don't exist where's charlotte now me again. Do not let Alex alone with Charlotte for a second. Is that you, Evan? Promise me. I promise. Who are you talking to? Myself. A uh, full moon. Mm. Yeah, I was, I was promising myself that I... I wouldn't let anything happen to you. You don't have to follow me everywhere, you know. Maybe I want to. Oh. I just... I don't think you should be alone. I don't feel alone out here. I don't. Hmm? I feel... comforted. Especially tonight. Hmm. How did you know I'd be here? Uh, we were talking about Dimitri, and uh, it seemed like a natural choice. You miss him so much, don't you? Let's get you back to the house where it's safe. I feel safe with you. I was just worried. I didn't know where you'd got to. Oh, I just went for a walk. We just took a walk, yeah. And uh, she's exhausted now, so I think mm. a good night's sleep is just what the doctor ordered. Yes. Well, I was hoping that maybe we could uh, have a nightcap and catch up. What? What is it they're called? Girl talks? <laughs> uh, that sounds great, but I'm sorry to disappoint you. I just had a new alarm system installed here, and uh, well, I can't turn it on until you, you know, leave the room. You're kicking me out of my daughter's That's room. That's extreme, uh, yeah, Look, I, I, did I say kick? Look, there have been several attempts on Alex's life, seriously, and, and whoever did it is still at large. So, until we've taken care of whoever that is, I'm setting that alarm every night. So, I hope you 
understand. I'm sorry. I have an idea. We'll have a slumber party, and then I don't have to leave. How about it, Sash? Hot toddies, some of that Turkish delight that I brought you from England. What do you say? Actually, I prefer it if you did go. What? I know. I, uh, I want to spend some time with Edmund. Oh, I understand. Okay, well, we can have plenty of time for catch-up. All right? Good night, Edmund. Good night, Charlotte. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Sleep well. Mm -hmm. I will. What's happened between you and my mother? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> no, what did she say? Did she said something to you? About what? About us. Yeah. I think she's annoyed that I'm prodding you about your past, and um, she thinks I'm a tad overprotective. Oh, she has a point. Okay. <laughs> Actually, she said something to me about us. Really? Mm -hmm. What'd she say? She doesn't think I love you, really. And it's an infatuation because you're Dimitri's brother. I told her that for all her intelligence, she doesn't know real love when she sees it. Besides, I'm a bit of a contrarian. You know, when she told me not to play with matches, I set a bonfire. And then when she told me not to go out in the rain, I went out stark naked. You were yeah. a handful. I, I still am. Every time she warns me against you, I just want to do this. I need to see you now. No, that, we don't have time for that. We have to act immediately or we'll risk losing everything. And I don't want that to happen. Clever man, but not that clever. On the road. That fellow of hers glued to her side. I thought it would be easy to separate Alexandra from Edmund, but unfortunately they're genuinely in love. And love produces heroes. And martyrs. I don't want to kill Edmund. Well, not unless it's absolutely necessary. What are you going to do? I'll get what I want. Lovers who are awash in emotion are easy to manipulate. What is it? <clears throat> Charlotte, she's quite a character, isn't she? <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, eccentrics are one of England's biggest exports. She's very protective of you. Uh, I suppose so. I mean, that's all relatively new, you know. It was always my dad that tucked me in at night, and then when I got older, he gave my boyfriends the third degree. I mean, love was all very well and good for her, but it took her away from her main objective, which was work. My dad was a big old softy. She didn't have time for all that nonsense, you know. So don't you... I think it's odd that she's so keenly interested now. Yeah, I admit, it's a bit of a surprise. But it's not horrible. Mm -hmm. Just why the sudden turnaround? I guess... As she's grown older, she, she's learned what we've known all along. That love is what's important. Alexandra always was a difficult creature. Oh, this is a mess. Do you have anything else for me? You were right about Adrian's sword. I knew the name was familiar. What have you got? The dossier's been compiled. What will you do with it? First of all, I want to find out how Mr. Sword is linked to Alexandra and Edmund. Then I'll decide. 